Good afternoon. Welcome to A Simple Life. I'm up here by myself at Herman's doing some work. We're going to check on the goats after we put them in their the, the kidding area. We brought little Reba up with us and she's playing with Junior, her, one of Herman's dogs. And Merle's over there wondering where his food's at. So we're gonna fill up his feeder. Reba came up yesterday and cleared his feeder out. He totally knows what I have now. Oh, <laughs> yeah, did I bring up your food? So, he eats from an auto feeder set up, and I've showed you guys before, but I'll show you again. Especially since we got so many new folks joining us. So, this is the, the feeding, feeding cage, feeding area. And this can be moved, and I've moved it different places. But what's really cool is Reba has learned to go through that. She learned the first day that we had her up here and how, how to go through it. And there you go. Boom. He goes right through. And Reba, you going to come through? See, she doesn't care. She wants to play. All right. We use one of these chow cow hounds and they work really good we actually have two of them as soon as we got Reba we actually started feeding her from one of these down at our place and usually we put a brick in the front um, and so Merle's gonna be a happy boy There was food in there yesterday afternoon when, when I came up, but I saw Reba go in there, and I, there was probably only two cups of food, but I saw Reba go in there, and I pretty much knew that she was probably gonna clear him out. So, I knew that I was gonna have to bring up food today. I put a camera on that in the past, and there'd be a day or so that he wouldn't show up to eat, and then he'd be there two times a day, and he wouldn't show up for a day. So I've seen him do that enough that I wasn't worried. Typically I don't let it get that low, but what happened was I fell out of the pattern because Reba's been up here. Usually it takes about two, two and a half weeks um, for him to eat a full bag. Maybe a little less, I mean, maybe a little bit more, maybe closer to three weeks. All right, let's check on our goats. Hi guys. Hello. Hello ladies. Hello. Good to see everybody's hanging out, relaxing. So everybody's happy. That's, uh, that's very important to make sure that they got enough food and everybody's doing their thing. All right, well, we are going to get working on this again and see how much we can get done before the day is over. Wow, Merle, you didn't take long to eat. So this is how hungry he was. So I'm go I was gone maybe three or four minutes. And there he is. He got his, he got a little snack. Oh. You gonna eat your food there? So the other reason why I, why I really like this setup of teaching the dogs to go through a tunnel is because if they ever get injured, um, uh, fighting coyotes, cougar, bear, whatever, whatever they get into. They're able to create some distance potentially if they need to. Um, that's the other reason why we're, have, we're gonna have two of them because uh, she's gonna be a terror, I can tell you right now. Um, we've, we've raised a couple litters and she's, she's a real stuff. I'm really happy with her. When I say Reba's got the stuff, what I'm talking about she's got the whole package she's not full of fear fear is something in dogs that is very scary it's also something you need to deal with immediately with my livestock guardian dogs or any dog i own a dog that cowers fears as soon as i go to pet it pees itself that is a dog that i need to work with quickly and i need to figure out what the issue is if you cannot figure out the issue and get the dog past that you will end up with a dog that will either bite somebody or run and cower when you need them the most 
And I'm not talking about a dog who doesn't want to be touched because it just doesn't want to be touched. That's a different story. Look what the cat brought up. Dear Lord. Herman! I thought you said you were sick. I was gonna, I was gonna come up with the, with the commode book. No door here, huh? No. Good. You know why? The morning sun shines this way. I know. I seen that on mine down there. I had to take that lower door out. Yeah, yeah. So Herman, uh, Herman walked up and wanted to see what I was doing. And uh, yeah. So we're gonna show him a little bit and get yeah. the uh, get get the boss's approval. So the end down here, Herman. The down here, it'll be I'll be able to roll it up to get a breeze going across. But there'll be plastic over the end. Plastic over the end. Yeah. Yeah. So the so so the sun shines in here. Exactly. Because the sun comes from this way. Yep. On mine down there, I learned that the hard way. You had to take the doors off. I had to take the door on the lower end. The upper end's okay, but the lower end. Yeah. Be because it stops the sun. Yep, yep. And so that side's going to have, see, the, it's going to have doors right there, double doors. So. Uh, no, but the, can you can you get in there with the, with the truck to, to put, the, put the leaf mulch in? I'll be able to get in there with the tractor. Oh, with the tractor. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. So it is windy and cold out here. I'm very surprised he came up. I'm very, very surprised because he's been sick. And um, he wanted to come up and see what was going on. So. Yeah, I would. You could use two of them. I, I thought I, I thought I walk up. Look at there, the Mount. What is it? The Mount Adams is that one? No, no that's uh, Saint Helen. Helen, here. Yeah, that yeah. soccer got snow, boy. Oh yeah. There was I, an, the eagle was flying around earlier. Eagle, eh? It was flying around earlier. Yeah. When that soccer blows, I seen him blow from right up here. Yeah. That must have been pretty, uh, pretty scary. Oh, shit, man. Oh shit, scary, right. The first day after that, I took Heine went up here, went with the power saw, and over here someplace, we, we knocked over a little oak about like that. Yeah. Oh, the tree fell down, big cloud of dust, you know. Big cloud of dust, and then they start cutting up. 20 minutes after he start cutting, the saw was finished. That, that was the day after Saint, Mount St. Helens? Yeah. Blew. I didn't know nothing about that. Nothing yeah. and nothing. Yeah, yeah. 20 minutes after you start cutting the saw was chunk, finished, kaput. Wow. Yeah. Wow. We were just talking about it because today it's really clear out and you can see Mount St. Helen right over there. Yeah. It's a pretty clear day. Oh yeah, pretty clear. Kind of cold. But... You want me to take you back? Yeah, maybe better, maybe right. better. I'll be back in a minute. I'm gonna take no, him back.
He's still quite a bit of a puppy. He's still a puppy. He's getting to be a big dog, but he's still got that puppy streak in him. <laughs> All right, well, Herman's back in his cabin, nice and warm. You can see the progress we made. We got this all in nice and tidy all the way down and now I'm just going in and I'm putting in my little scab pieces like right here just putting in these little scab pieces all the way down spots like this aren't actually connected see but <clears throat> there's not really much wiggle between you know it's it's connected enough so I'll put a scab here and down there and then we'll finish off the end and I'll start framing up the end it's coming along um, probably another week or so, I think, and I'll have all the zigzag track up uh, and we'll figure out the next steps. Such a beautiful day. It is cold. It is stinking. I have, I have wool socks on and my feet are cold. Um, and it's not to say that wool socks are the best, but um, I love, I love some American made wool socks i'll tell you that there's not much that warms my feet more well that a nice fire that'll do